Gopi Janavalava Girival Hari Yashodanandana Rajajananjana Yashodanandana Rajajananjana Yashodanandana Yamuna Chira Chari Yamuna Chira Bana Chari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopi Janavala Giri Varadhari Yashoda Nandana Raja Janaranjana Yashoda Nandana Raja Janaranjana Yashoda Nandana Raja Janaranjana Yamuna Tira Manachari Yamuna Tira Hate Krishna Hate Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Gora Hari Bo. Shiva Prabhu Pada Ki, Ananta Gotti Vaishnava Ki. Shishirada Gopinata ki Chopati Yatra ki Prantaraj Shimad Bhagavatam ki Gora Premanande All glories to the Sama Devotees All glories to the Sama Devotees All glories to the Sama Devotees All glories to Sri Guru Jnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshuran Miritam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Shri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupakaramahyam Dadati Svapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutta Padakamalam, Shri Gurun Vaishnavangscha, Shri Rupam Sagradatam, Sahagana Raganatam Vitam Tam Sajivam, Sadvaitam Savadutam, Parijana Sahitam, Krishna Chaitanya Devam, Shri Radha Krishna Padam, Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitangscha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimate Bhaktivedanta Swamin Itinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Chatya de Shatari Mancha Kalpatur Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vya Evacha Patitana Pavane Vyo Vaishnave Vyo Namo Nama He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namo Sute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Rishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priya Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gauravakta Vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, all together. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 
Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narottamam Deving Sarasvating Yasam Tato Jayam Udirayet Nashta Prayeshvabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavat Yuttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki I've selected a a very nice verse from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 7, Chapter 9. Prahlad pacifies the Lord with prayers. This is verse number 38. <clears throat> uh, this verse is in uh, Vasanta Tilaka meter. Itang ritir yagrishi deva jashava tairair. Itang ritir yagrishi deva jashava tairair. Lokan vibhavaya si hang si jagat pratipan. Lokan vibhavaya si hang si jagat pratipan. Dharmang maha purusha pasi yuga nuvrittang. Dharmang maha purusha pasi yuga nuvrittang. Channa kalo yadabhavastri yugotta sattham. Channa kalo yadabhavastri yugotta sattham. Others? Ladies. Itang ritir yagrishi deva jachavatarai. Lokam vibhaya siham si jagatta vipa. Nam maha purusha pasi yugana vipa. Chanakalo 
लोकं विभावयसे हंसि जगत् प्रतिपा धर्मं महापुरुषपासिगान वृत्तं खलौ यरमास्त्री गोथस तं ऋचिर्य कृषिदेव चावताय लोकान विभावयसि हंसि जगत् प्रतिपं धर्मं महापुरुषपासिगान वृत्तं धन्नखलो यदमस्त्रियुगोत्थसत्वम् इत्थम् इन दिस वे नरे लाइक अ ह्यूमन बीइंग सच एस लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड लॉर्ड रामचंद्रा चिर्यक लाइक एनिमल्स सच एस द बोर ऋषि एस अ ग्रेट सेंट Parashuram, Deva as demigods, Jasa, Jasha as an aquatic, such as the fish and tortoise, Avatarai by such different incarnations, Lokan. All the different planetary systems. Vibhavayasi, you protect. Hungsi, you sometimes kill. Jagat Pratipan, persons who have simply created trouble in this world. Dharmam, the principles of religion. Mahapurusha, O great personality. Pasi, you protect. Yuga Anuvrittam, according to the different millennia. Channa, covered. Kalo, in the age of Kali. Yet, since, above all, have been, and will be in the future. Triyuga, named Triyuga. Atta, therefore, Sa, the same personality. Tom, you. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Translation, this is Prahlad Maharaj speaking to whom? To Lord Narsingadev. In this way, my Lord, you appear in various incarnations as a human being, an animal, a great saint, a demigod, a fish or a tortoise, thus maintaining the entire creation in different planetary systems and killing the demoniac principles. According to the age, O oh my Lord, you protect the principles of religion. In the age of Kali, however, you do not assert yourself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And therefore, you are known as Triyuga, or the Lord who appears in three yugas. Purport. As the Lord appeared, just to maintain Lord Brahma from the attack of Madhu and Kaitama, this was mentioned in the previous verse, he also appeared to protect the great devotee, Prahlad Maharaj. Similarly, Lord Chaitanya appeared in order to protect 
the fallen souls of Kali Yuga. There are four yugas or millenniums, Satya, Treta, Dvapara, and Kali. In all the yugas but Kali Yuga, the Lord appears in various incarnations and asserts himself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But although Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who appears in Kali Yuga, is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he never asserted himself as such. On the contrary, whenever Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was addressed as being as good as Krishna, he blocked his ears with his hands, denying his identity with Krishna because he was playing the part of a devotee. Lord Chaitanya knew that in Kali Yuga there would be many bogus incarnations pretending to be God and therefore he avoided asserting himself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is accepted as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, however in many Vedic literatures, especially in Srimad Bhagavatam, oh, let me phrase that again. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is accepted as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, however, in many Vedic literatures, especially in Srimad Bhagavatam. Krishna Varnam Tvisha Krishna Sangopangastra Parshadam Yajyai Sankirtana Prayai. In Kali Yuga, intelligent men and women <laughs> worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is always accompanied by his associates such as Nityananda, Advaita, Gadadhar, and Srivasa. The entire Krishna consciousness movement is based on the principles of the Sankirtana movement inaugurated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, one who tries to understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead through the medium of the Sankirtan movement knows everything perfectly. He or she is Sumedas, a person with substantial intelligence. And so ends Srila Prabhupada's purport to this verse. Translation again, we can repeat together. In this way, my Lord, you appear in various incarnations as a human being, an animal, a great saint, a demigod, a fish, or a tortoise, thus maintaining the entire creation in different planetary systems and killing the demoniac principles. According to the age, O oh my Lord, you protect the principles of religion. In the age of Kali, however, you do not assert yourself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And therefore, you are known as Tri Yuga or the Lord who appears in three yugas. Hmm. Mukam karoti bachalam bhangam langayate girim yat kripa tamaham bande shri gurum dinataranam. As we anticipate the appearance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 
on the Purnima day, rapidly approaching. It is appropriate that we approach him through Srimad Bhagavatam. In particular, because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the ideal reader of Srimad Bhagavatam, the ideal listener to Srimad Bhagavatam. And one way, there are many ways, but one way to read uh, the accounts of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is with this point in mind that he is the perfect hearer, the perfect reader of Srimad Bhagavatam, being none other than the Supreme Personality of Godhead himself, who better to give example of how to hear the Bhagavata, the Srimad Bhagavata Purana, which Srila Prabhupada referred to as the beautiful story of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I like especially to read Chaitanya Charitamrita in this spirit. And it, it, it's very much we can experience as we read Chaitanya Charitamrita in this spirit, we can get a sense of how Krishna Das Kaviraj is helping us to understand the significance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's presence, his appearance. His appearance, which was so recent, how many years ago? 534. Yes, 534 years. His appearance was so recent that Srila Prabhupada once said, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has appeared within the memory of us all. Now, I don't know about you, but I have trouble remembering what I did two weeks ago and where I was and um, what to speak of one year ago, two years ago, early in my life. And what does Prabhupada mean when he says, within the memory of us all, 500, maybe, maybe Srila Prabhupada can remember that. Anyone, any of you remember previous life, life before that? <laughs> but, uh, but there's possibly another way to understand within the memory of us all. First of all, let's remember that context, very important when uh, understanding Shastra, understanding our Acharyas, is to see what is the context in which they are speaking. So Prabhupada was speaking in the context of uh, how Krishna appeared some 5,000 years ago. And 5,000 years ago, I mean, that's a long time ago. Okay, for Lord Brahma, it's, it's just a few moments, but, but for us, and in terms of, in terms of um, historical record, modern historical record, uh, we, don't, we, don't find, uh, we don't find traces. Modern history will say 5,000 years ago, that's crazy. All right, maybe it's crazy, but Srila Prabhupada is explaining. The Lord appears also within the memory of us all in the sense of collectively we do have memory in the sense that uh, we have a lot of history, a lot of history books, a lot of uh, knowledge about, about things that happened around the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
And my, I personally always like to remember how in grade school, I don't remember which year it was, I don't know if it was first grade, second grade, third grade, see I don't remember very much. Um, we were taught in our history class that in the year 1492, Columbus, Christopher Columbus, a Portuguese, sailed the ocean blue. 1492, he sailed the ocean blue. That was supposed to help us to remember the, the dates because dates were very important. 1492, when did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appear according to modern calendar? 1486. How many years difference is that? Somebody said four. <laughs> That's six years. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was six years old, what was Mahaprabhu doing when he was six years old? A lot, a lot of mischief, I would say. Uh, and a lot of wonderful pastimes. Uh, but um, at that time, this young man in Portugal had this idea, I'm going to go to India. And it had been, I believe, quite a long time, centuries, uh, that uh, the trade routes between Europe, the land trade routes between Europe and India were pretty much closed off. It was very very difficult to go by land. So the idea was, we'll go by ship. His idea was, I'm going to go around the planet and get to India that way. He didn't quite make it. He came to a place which is still today called West Indies. And for the rest of his life, he was thinking he was in India. Hare Krishna. <laughs> But he was only the first of many so-called, we in school, we, we were told these are explorers, the great world explorers. Uh, and of course for us the, the big thing was they're coming from Europe. So, you know, the Europeans, uh, we are so clever, we are. But what was actually going on is they want to go to India. Why did they want to go to India? What was it in India that they thought they would get? They thought they're going to get spices. Eventually they did get spices. They say that um, black pepper at that time in the early 16th century was worth more in weight than the same in gold. Gold, pepper was more valuable than gold. So you can imagine high motivation because pepper was available in South India. Well, they came for spices, but could it be? Okay, this is where the Swami does his speculation. Don't mind. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, speculation time official announcement, so you can subtract it from the official record. Speculation. The actual reason why these explorers were coming, they were looking, where is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Where is that personality who is going to give us something much better than spices? Well, um, there's so much we could say about mundane history, but what we're interested in is uh, transcendent history. And that's what we're getting hinted at here in the Bhagavatam so much earlier, because we're hearing from none other than Prahlad Maharaj, and Prahlad Maharaj in the process of pacifying Lord Nrsinghadev, who appeared how long ago? Long time ago. 
<clears throat> in the process of pacifying Nrsingadev, who has become so angry, why? Because of the misbehavior of uh, the demon Hiranyakashipu, he has become so angry because his devotee, Prahlad, has been so much harassed. In that state of anger, Prahlad is pushed forward to offer these prayers. And this prayer, he is making this very interesting hit, hint. Itang. In this way, in such a way. Nritiryad Rishi Deva Jashavatai Lokan Vibhavayasi Hangsi Jagat Pratipan Vibhavayasi You protect Hangsi You kill Prabhupada says sometimes <laughs> and that sometimes is significant specifically here because in the case of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, does he kill the demons? No, instead he, he frees the demons from their foolishness. Even he wants to kill them. <laughs> what does Lord Nityananda do? Stop! Don't do this. You're forgetting who you are. God is forgetting who he is? Yes. Sometimes he'll do that. A lot of times he'll do that. He'll forget who he is in order to relish pastimes. Well, Channa Kalo in this age of Kali. Welcome, everyone to the age of Kali. Aren't you happy? Yes. <laughs> Who is happy for being in the age of Kali? Some are like <laughs> waiting to see what my punchline is going to be. <laughs> Most of you are not happy. We are not happy that this is the age of Kali until, here's the punchline, right? <laughs> and this is what Srila Prabhupada quotes in the purport. Krishna Varnam, Tvisha Krishna, Sangha, Saanga, Upaanga, Astra, Parshadam, Yadnyai, Sankirtana Prayai, Yajanti hi sumedasa, that in this age the Lord is appearing and intelligent men and women, what do they do? Uh, they perform sacrifice. This word sacrifice is not a popular word. except when there is a war and somebody on the side of those who are favored is, is killed. Then we say, oh, uh, this person has sacrificed for our country. So then the word is, it's a nice word. But generally when we hear the word sacrifice, we don't like it. And why don't we like it? Because we don't want to do it. To sacrifice sounds like something violent. Sounds like something nasty. It sounds like something ritualistic, something, something uh, religious fanatics do. Our dislike of this word, or more widely, publicly, dislike of uh, the idea of sacrifice, you could say, goes along with our dislike of the idea of God. And our idea, our dislike of 
the notion of God in this age, we can say it has to do with the fact that we are in this age. It is the age when we dislike submitting, surrendering, offering sacrifice to God. One reason for this may be suggested from social psychology. I know I'm speaking to a very educated audience, so I need to say something that will keep you awake, right? So, social psychologists in New York have done some research on what they call the uh, moral foundations of political life. And they've identified six moral foundations which for which there is empirical evidence that people, not only in America, other parts of the world, will say, yes, because I have this moral value, therefore I will vote for this person. Or yes, because I have this moral value, I'll vote for that person. So, what are these six values? Anyone like to know what they are? I'm not quoting Shastra. Are you sure you want to hear this? <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> All right. The first of these is care. To care. To understand that caring for others is moral and it is valuable and it's foundational. Uh, we could elaborate on each one, but I'll go through them. The second one is fairness. We feel that it's right to be fair. And fairness suggests recognizing some sort of equality among at least human beings, most unfortunately, deeply unfortunately in the world today, don't have the sense of equality among species. So fairness. And then a third one is liberty. And liberty I want to call special attention to because it strikes me that this is where many people resist the idea that God exists because there is a strong sense that such recognition will mean giving up my liberty. Because of a misunderstanding of what is liberty. They think that liberty means I am completely independent. Well, let me continue now with three more moral foundations um, that are considered valuable and uh, essential for political life. So one of these uh, is loyalty. You know, loyalty, a sense of remaining loyal to a person, loyal to perhaps a, a state, uh, a nation, and so on. Uh, loyalty, and then comes authority. Authority. Now, those who are very much emphasizing liberty, they tend to not be so interested in authority. Because authority sounds like, again, loss of liberty. And when we speak of God, the supreme personality of Godhead, you're talking about authority. No, thank you. And the final of these six is sanctity. 
sanctity, the sense of sacredness. Something is sacred, someone is sacred. Welcome to all our guests, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for coming. They're filing in and filing out. Hare Krishna. Welcome. <laughs> Where have you all come from, may we ask? From England. Yes, very good. Okay. So, now, let's get back to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And why we want to get back to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is because he is such an incredible, in, in just in abstract terms he's such an amazing avatar of the Lord now I know some of you are gonna say wait 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 avatar of the Lord no you got it wrong Swami he is not avatar he is avatari he is the origin of all avatars right yes but just okay let's hold that point for now and let's use the word avatar uh, because what does avatar mean? Avatar means ava, down, tarana, crossing, one who crosses down. So the Lord, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is crossing down from where? From the spiritual world. Sometimes we use the word vaikuntha and sometimes we object. Vaikuntha? No. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not coming from Vaikuntha. Where is he coming from? So much higher than Vaikuntha, right? Ah, but wait. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, in his Jaiva Dharma, I believe it's in his Jaiva Dharma, he refers to Goloka Dham as being within Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha is inclusive. Vaikuntha is the place where there is no Kunta, there is no anxiety. So that means also Goloka. Furthermore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tells us, he, to he told devotees, <clears throat> during his uh, Sata Pahariya Bhava, his 21 hour ecstasy, uh, when he visited the house of Shiva's Thakur one day, he indicated to the devotees by just a glance, they understood immediately what he wanted. He wanted kirtan. And so, just with a gesture of his eyes and a gesture, his look and a gesture, kirtan began. The kirtan was, was going on, the kirtan was increasing, the ecstasy was intensifying, uh, growing, growing, growing. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, of course, was swaying back and forth, swaying, and then he was dancing, dancing. How many of you would like to have it been the case that someone at that time had had a video camera to record? You would have liked? I would have also liked. Would you have liked? <laughs> I suspect that even if a video camera had been there, we would not have seen, would not have recorded. Because he was visible to his devotees at that time. And he was visible in his absorption, his utter absorption in the holy name of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
At one point, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did something which he had been seen doing at other times. He sat down on the asana for Vishnu. It seems that in Shiva's Thakurs there was a place where on special occasions they would bring the deity of the Lord and worship him and otherwise it was a sort of bare platform. So there were times when Mahaprabhu would climb up and sit on this asana but in previous times whenever he would do this it would be it was obvious to everyone that he was doing it in a, in a state of ecstasy which as soon as he would notice where he was, he would go, whoa, oh, excuse me, whoa, wrong. Uh, and then he would get off. He would get off the asana. But this time, he sat down on the asana and it was clear to everyone that he is now in the mood of none other than the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yadad vetam brahmupani sharitad apyasya tanubha ya atmantar yami purusha iti syo shangsha vibhava shadaishvaryai purno ya iha bhagavan sasvayamayam na chaitanya jagati puratatvam paramiha na chaitanya Na Chaitanya Krishna Jagati Paratatvam Paramiha. Krishna Das Kaviraj, I think he's quoting uh, Sarup Damodar, is saying that this Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is none other than that impersonal Brahman that's described in the Upanishads. He is that, and that, uh, that. Param Atma, who is situated in everyone's heart, is none other than an expansion of this of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he is none other than Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality. That very Lord is now sitting in Shiva's Thakur's house, sitting on on uh, on Lord Vishnu's seat. And he is indicating, you may now worship me. And so all the devotees understand this and they begin, uh, to, uh, they begin to worship him as one would worship a deity of the Lord. So suddenly from nowhere come not hundreds but thousands of pots of Ganga water and they begin pouring, doing Abhishek of, on Mahaprabhu. And he also tells, he tells them, so now chant the Abhishek mantras, do it right. <laughs> let's, get, let's do this properly. So they begin chanting mantras uh, for Abhishek, uh, uh, the Purusha Sukta prayers. Mm. Om Sahasra Shirsha Purusha Sahasra Kshat Sahasra Pat Sabumim Vishvato Vritva Atyatishtatta Sangulam etc. Purusha Eveda Gam Sarvam Yat Bhuta Yat and their offering and Lord Chaitanya is receiving uh, this Abhishek. It only mentions water, so they didn't make Lord Chaitanya all sticky with honey this time. Uh, not only the devotees who normally associate with the Lord, but also the servants and the maidservants came forward with pots of water. And Vrindavan Das Thakur expresses how fortunate everyone was. He says, just imagine, even one drop of water offered to the feet of the Lord will liberate one from Yamadanda. Who would like to be freed from Yamadanda? 
Only so many? <laughs> Some of you were hesitant again. Maybe, maybe, maybe Yamadanda is good for me. Maybe I should get some, some punishment. So, uh, even the servants, so everyone, they're offering whole pots. So what to speak of uh, just offering a drop? They were offering whole pots of water. And then they dried the Lord and they dressed the Lord. They offered 16 items to the Lord and then they offered prayers, so many prayers, one of them here. Uh, jaya Adi Hetu Jaya Jaya Janaka Sabar Jaya Jaya Sankirtana Ramba Avatar Jaya Adi Hetu Jaya Janaka Sabar Jaya Jaya Sankirtan Aramba Avatar. So all glory is to he who is the cause of all causes, who is the father of all, Janaka Sobar, who is the uh, institutor of Sankirtan, he who institutes, who brings about Aramba, Sankirtana, avatara, that avatara, so the word avatara is here also, um, that avatar is glorified. And then they offer a boga offering to the Lord, food. Now the Chaitanya Charitamrita is full of descriptions of food, of prasadam. And in particular, now comes another Swami speculation. Don't mind. Where did Vrindavan Das, sorry, where did Krishna Das Kaviraj live most of his life? Most of his life he lived in Vrindavan. Where did he grow up? didn't grow up in Vrindavan, he grew up in Bengal. Vrindavan is very far away from Bengal. That means that the kind of uh, sabji, uh, the kind of preparations that are made in Bengal, you will not get in Vrindavan. Right? And so, this is my theory that Krishnadas Kaviraj, in his detailed descriptions of the various kinds of preparations that were offered to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is remembering with longing for these same preparations, which he is not getting in Vrindavan. Okay, speculation over. Back to the class. Uh, so... They're offering, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is eating. He is, he is taking all the offerings. He is saying, bring, bring. It's like Govardhan. Huh? When, when he called, what does he call out? Aniyor, Aniyor. He keeps, you know, bring more. Ani, our, our, more, more. And he keeps eating. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the supreme personality of eating Godhead. <laughs> he is the supreme dancer. He is Nataraj, Gora Nataraj. He is the supreme relisher of prasadam. And this is an indication that he is the supreme relisher of Krishna Bhakti. <clears throat> Nigama kalpataror galitang palam shukamukad amrita dravasam yutam pibata bhagavatam rasam alayam muhuraho muhuraho rasika bhuvi babuka 
We are invited in the beginning of Bhagavatam to relish the Bhagavatam. Who is the primordial relisher of Srimad Bhagavatam? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And who is another relisher of Srimad Bhagavatam who is an associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who is present at this 21 hour ecstasy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? He is Srivas Thakur. So after the extensive meal, Mahaprabhu calls forward his several devotees, one after another, and he shares with them a memory. With Srivas Thakur, he shares the memory that and this is happening before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. He is sharing the, the memory that Srivas Thakur had uh, been attending a Bhagavat Katha of Devananda Pandit in Kuliya. And what happened at that time? As he was listening to the Bhagavatam, he collapsed, Srivas Thakur collapsed in an ecstatic absorption in what he was hearing about Krishna and his rel Krishna's relation with his devotee. He collapsed. Now, we might, we might have a trace of sympathy for Devananda Pandit here. It turns out that M Mahaprabhu declares that he is a great offender of Vaishnavas. Still, we might have a little understanding for his neglect because if we imagine that someone right now, probably wouldn't happen, but if one of you would suddenly collapse on the floor, what would we do with you? Huh? Take to Bhaktivedanta Hospital, <laughs> yes. We'd, in any case, we'd probably cart you out of the room, right? Uh, we would think, oh, this disturbance, what is going on? Oh, we have more guests. <laughs> so, um, so this is what Devananda Pandit did. He, he, he allowed uh, the devotees to take Shiva's Pandit out of the room. This was a serious aparad. And Mahaprabhu is remembering this and Mahaprabhu remembers what does he remember? He tells Srivas Thakur at that time I came from Vaikuntha. Remember, we were talking about whether the Lord descends from Vaikuntha. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, according to Vrindavan Das Thakur, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself says, I came from Vaikuntha. He says, I came from Vaikuntha and I entered your heart. And when I entered your heart, I manifest in your heart the Srimad Bhagavatam. And when Shiva's Thakur hears this from Mahaprabhu, he again collapses. <laughs> Tears are coming from his eyes. He's just overwhelmed in realizing the kindness of the Lord. The kindness of the Lord. In, he is not being an authority. He is not being a master. He is being channa avatar. He is being hidden. He is hiding in the heart of his devotee. But what is he manifesting from the heart of his devotee? He is manifesting the Srimad Bhagavatam, the entire Bhagavatam. One after another, he, he calls devotees forward, and one of the devotees that he calls forward uh, is Gangadas. He says, Do you remember the time, Gangadas, when you were running away in great fear of one king? He doesn't give the name of the king, 
He doesn't explain what the problem was with the king. But he says, you were running away from this king and you came to the Ganga. You wanted to cross the Ganga, but there was no boat. There was no boat available and you were very afraid that they were going to come and cap capture you and, and hurt you. And you were praying to me and so I came. Do you remember? Ganga Das is trying to understand what he's talking about. Do you remember? I came as a boatman in a boat. <laughs> that was you? That boatman was you! And he, he collapses and the tears are coming from his eyes and he's praying to Lord Chaitanya. So kind, the Lord has appeared uh, in this way. So there's something like a pattern here. <clears throat> the third person that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu remembers uh, and calls forward is Sridhar. Remember Sridhar? What is Sridhar's profession? He sells banana leaves. Does one make a whole lot of money from selling banana leaves? Mm -mm. He was selling banana leaves and possibly also bananas and other aspects of banana trees. And Mahaprabhu is calling him forward and says, Remember, remember how I would come to you and cause you so much trouble? Oh yes, do I remember <laughs> how much trouble you caused. <laughs> and now Sridhar Shida, Shida, uh, realizes uh, just how fortunate he has been. He fully realizes how fortunate he has been to be caused such trouble. All of this haggling. You know the word haggling? Haggling? Bargaining? Bargaining the price. And Mahaprabhu is always getting the lowest price. He's always taking for half price. He's poor already and he's getting, he's making him uh, give for half price. What is this? But what is Sridhar? When, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu now says to him, Sridhar, take a benediction from me. Sridhar says, I don't want any benediction. Take from me the eight powers of the yogis. No, I don't want that. I don't want anything. Take from me a benediction. I don't want any benediction. All right, I want one thing. I want to simply always remember you and I want to always serve you and I want to always have you come to me and bargain and get a low price for my banana leaves. That's all I want. Nadanam na janam na sundarim kavitam va jagadisha kamaye mama janmani janmani shvare bhavatad bhakti rahi tukhi tvai. Just uh, three, four days ago, I was in Pune and I met one scholar at the Bandarkar Oriental Research Institute. Uh, this is a very um, prestigious institute and this scholar is a Sanskritist, a uh, very, very knowledgeable Sanskritist and very humble at the same time <laughs> and a very sweet person. I know him from Oxford. He spent uh, some months, a couple of months in Oxford at our center and um, I don't know if he picked him up while he was with us in Oxford. I suspect that was where he got but while we were speaking uh, just a few days ago, he's, he was remembering verses from uh, the Shikshastakam. He was just sort of out of the blue. He said, yes, there's one verse. How did it go? Ashlishava pararatang 
pinastu mama darshanam marmahatam karotu va yata tata va viradatu lampato mat pranana tastu saivanapara. He remembered the whole verse. Um, and then he remembered two more verses. And then it was coming back to him. And he was saying, these verses are such fine Sanskrit. Not just that the content of, and the meaning, but the Sanskrit, the poetry, he said, this is very fine. This is beautiful poetry. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we sometimes lament, oh, he only gave us eight verses. He could have given us so many more, but he only gave us eight. Oh, everything is in those eight verses, isn't it? <laughs> Plus, of course, we have reference uh, to so many things that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told uh, to uh, devotees from the biographies, in particular Chaitanya Charitamrita. Um, but I want to, if I can find it, I want to share with you uh, one verse, which was from Murari Gupta. No, not Murari Gupta, from uh, Prabodhananda Saraswati. Let's see if I still have it here. Yes. <clears throat> and then I will end with this. This is a, a verse from Chaitanya Chan Chandramrita, from Srila Prabodhananda Saraswati. Purna prema rasamrita dilahari lo langa gaurachata kotya charita visham ishvara vidi vyasari bhi sangstutam durlaksham shuti koti bhi prakatayan murting jagan mohinim ascharyam lavano narodasi param brahmasvayam nityati and the translation, this uh, was just sent to me by one of our colleagues in Oxford, Gopinata Charya Prabhu, who is also a very accomplished Sanskritist. His translation is, The dazzling luster of his golden limbs, tossed by the nectar waves of his fullest love, blinds the entire cosmos, while Shiva, Brahma, Vyasa sing its praises, manifesting this marvelous form which bewilders the world and is barely spoken of in a billion Vedic verses, that supreme Brahman freely dances on the ocean's shore. So we have Channa Avatar, the Lord who is hidden, and one way we can say that he is hidden is by his brilliance, by his beauty. He is too charming. And his, his teaching is too simple. What does he teach? He teaches us in this age of Kali, just chant the name of the Lord. Just chant the name of the Lord. No, 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 that's too simple. No, 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 we have no time. No, 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 I'm too stressed out. So just chant the name of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Kalim Sabajayantyar, Ya Gunagya Sarabhagina, Yatra Sankirtane Naiva, Sarva Sva Arta Upalabhyate. All purposes will be realized by this process in this age. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai, Grantaraj Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Hare Krishna.
Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have time for comment or question? Time is okay. Anything? Some addition? Correction? <clears throat> my apologies for my speculations. We're not, there's two kinds of speculation. I like to remind devotees. Prabhupada said there's mental speculation and there's philosophical speculation. Mental speculation, boo. <laughs> philosophical speculation, it's okay. <sighs> okay. Everyone happy? Okay, so we'll stop there then. Thank you all very much. Srila Prabhu Bhadagi. Hare Krishna. Oh yes, we have... Shall I stay here? Okay. Hare Krishna, kindly be seated. On behalf of Bhaktivedanta Academy of Culture and Education, we like to congratulate all the devotees who successfully completed their Bhakti Shastri course conducted in the year between 2018 to 2020. This course was facilitated by His Grace Shyam Charan Prabhu. I like to call upon the names of devotees and request His Holiness Krishna Shetra Maharaj to hand over the certificates to all the participants. बेस की ओर से हम सभी भक्तों को बधाई देना चाहते हैं जिन्होंने 2018 से 2020 के बीच में आयोजित अपने हिंदी भक्ति शास्त्री को सफलता पूर्वक पूरा किया इसका प्रशिक्षण श्रीमान श्यामचरण प्रभु जी ने किया मैं सभी प्रतिभागियों को प्रमाण पत्र सौंपने के लिए भक्तों का नाम पुकारता हूं और कृष्ण क्षेत्र महाराज से आग्रह करता हूं कि सारे भक्तों को प्रमाण पत्र सौंपे सो आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन अविनव मालविया प्रभु कैंडली टू कम फॉरवर्ड हरे कृष्णा Hare Krishna. Abhinav Malviya Prabhu, is he here? Okay. Jagannath Hindu Rao Kalve Prabhu. Is he here? Yeah. I'd like to call upon Kalpana Panchal Mataji. Mataji here? Okay. Hare Krishna. Like to call upon next Keshav Prasad Jay Singh Prabhu. Hari Bol. Kishore. Raj Purohit Prabhu Kishor Raj Purohit Prabhu Hari Bol Like to call upon next Madhuri Gokleshwari Devi Dasi Mataji Mataji is here Like to call upon Mayur Vijay Solanki Prabhu. Hari Bol. Next, like to call upon Mona Mahesh Patel Prabhu. Sorry, Mona Mahesh Patel Mataji. Hare Krishna. 
Hare Krishna. Like to call upon Mukesh Kumar Prabhu. Mukesh Kumar Prabhu. Like to call upon Nitesh Kumar Indranath Tiwari Prabhu. Like next, like to call upon Pavitra Pralad Das Prabhu. Pavitra Pralad Das Prabhu. Hari Bol. Like to call upon Rishikesh Dhure Prabhu. Rishikesh Dhure Prabhu. Is he here? Okay. Acha Prin Vada Mataji Hare Krishna. Like to call upon Radhe Shyam Ganga Prasad Tiwari Prabhu. Radhe Shyam Ganga Tiwari Prabhu is here. Rekha K. Purohit Mataji. Like call upon Reshma Rashesh Shah Mataji. Hari Bol. Sandeep Birendra Singh Prabhu. Hari Bol. Next, like to call upon Shilpa Rajendra Sholanki Mataji. Next, we'd like to call upon Surbhi Parmar Mataji. Surbhi Parmar Mataji. Hari Bol. I'd like to call upon next Vichitra Vaman Prabhu. Vichitra Vaman Prabhu, Hari Bol. It's coming forward. Next, finally, like to call upon Vishwambhar Gaur Prabhu. Vishwambhar Gaur Prabhu. Is he here? Vishwambhar Gaur Prabhu. Thank you very much, Maharaj. There are few announcements from the base. Base presents music and dance classes. We have Natwari Kathak classes, which will be conducted by Dipanshi Sharma Mataji. And timings will be 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. Will be conducted every Wednesday. Another, we have Hindustani classical music, will be conducted by Nilakshi Raut Kamat Mataji. And day will be Saturday, an age group between 5 to 10. Also, we have Bharat Natyam classes, which will be conducted every Tuesday and Thursday between the timings 4 to 5 p.m. and 5 to 6 p.m. And also,